I wanna take a quick second to explain to you why some of the videos on this channel talk about WordPress from a news perspective and like the developments of WordPress, which again, I greatly appreciate all the support on those videos. It's not gonna be, we're not gonna be a WordPress news channel. There's a lot of really great channels out there. WP Minute is one. I'm on there all the time. Love Matt, go check them out. I'll put the link in the description. But this isn't gonna be a WordPress news channel, but it is gonna be a part of it. And I'm gonna tell you exactly why I'm gonna give you my perspective on this so you understand. The reason that I have dove into some of the WordPress news and like the current event type stuff is because one, I'm genuinely kind of curious. Like I'm interested in, you know, the things that go on in the platform that I you know, play around with. I'm uh, Me as a person, I like to get in the weeds a little bit and kind of see that. If you don't like that, then don't watch those videos. But I'm gonna give you one reason the angle that a lot of times that I'm going to travel from and talk about when I when I do address those things, and this is the reason that I think you should consider caring about it, not just from me talking about it, from other people. If you are building a business in WordPress, right, then you are probably the person that watches all the tutorial videos on Bricks or Gutenberg or Elementor or whatever, right? And if you're a good business person, I truly believe this, and I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. If you're a good business person, you should care about the platform that you are building on. And what I mean is that if you're building, we, we're in the situation with WordPress, right? Where everything is layered on top of WordPress, the organization, the open source project, and there's a lot of stuff going on in there, okay? Maybe we'll unpack some of it in future videos, live streams, stuff like that. But understand that there's like a, a layer of that. And if that layer gets cracked, like the foundation of your house where you're building all these things above it, right? You're building walls, you're building, you know, putting rooms and stuff like that. All of that is like building a site with Elementor or Bricks or whatever. Bricks doesn't exist without WordPress. Elementor doesn't exist without WordPress. At least today in 2024, none of these things can exist outside. They could pivot, they could do something else, right? But the reason we're using WordPress is because we don't wanna use Webflow, Wix, Shopify, whatever, right? And all of these tools that you're getting tutorials on matter to WordPress. Like it like the only the only reason they exist is because of WordPress. And if there's problems with WordPress and we're not, you know, staying up to date on them, maybe giving our opinions on them, go join the Slack. I'll put that in the I'll put that in the description too. I really think that just as a smart, sophisticated business person, whether you're a freelancer or an agency or whatever, wherever whatever size you are, maybe like one percent of your time at least should be devoted to being like, hey, I wonder what's going on with WordPress. I want like the actual organization, the project, the thing that I am literally building my business on as a platform. Because again, if you don't, especially if you don't ever venture outside the, the, the ecosystem of WordPress and you never build Shopify websites, and you never build all these other things, you should definitely consider it once in a while. The last thing I'll say on this, just on the same idea of it, is if you are honing your skills and you're building websites, then consider trying to build the other skills around it as well. That could be transferable just in case anything ever happens to WordPress or whatever platform you're on. There's this is this is why like there's a lot of value in knowing HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, at least as you go, like continue to build those skills and not just like necessarily drag and drop everything. If you want to do that, that's fine. But the re the thing that I'll last little anecdote here, the reason that I love and I, I've really enjoyed using bricks these last, you know, several months is because it's made me more confident and more into like it, I've, get, I've gotten more a little bit of an independency of being a web developer. Like now I understand what's actually happening at the the DOM level, you know, like the HTML, the CSS and everything like that much more than I did before when I was an Elementor user. And again, I'm not, I'm not saying anything about Elementor. I'm just saying that this is my trajectory and this is what's been my experience. And what that's kind of like per shift in my perspective is, is if I feel a little bit more confident that if anything were to happen, if I would need to pivot or for any sort of reason, I know the web at a deeper level than I did before. And those skills are much more transferable than like the, the just knowing the UI of tools and things like that. You don't have to go that deep if you don't want to. I know everybody's at a different level with different goals and all those types of things. But I'm just telling you to summarize, the reason you'll see WordPress news and any sort of those types of videos on this channel, and specifically the skills videos as well, is because we're in it. We should care about it to some degree, I feel like. If you don't wanna watch those videos, don't watch those videos, that's fine. I'll be putting up to technical tutorials and business tutorials and everything like that too, but it's the same reason I talk about the business content. It's like, we can have the technical skills, but a lot of us are trying to do our own things on the side or our own agencies, even if we are employees or whatever, to other companies, and I just really think that it's a very holistic kind of view here that I'm trying to 
paint on this channel, the technical, the business, the current event type thing. It'll shift as we go, but right now, March of 2024, that's my thought. Hope you guys enjoy the content, have enjoyed the content so far. I greatly appreciate your support. I cannot thank you enough. If you like this video, let me know. If you dislike it, let me know in the comments for sure. But thank you guys so much, and I'll talk to you in the next one.